Greetings, YouTube family. My name is Derek Lewis. I'm a marketer and I'm a promoter with Street Kings Promotions. And I'm doing a short series on industry terms that every artist should know. And I come to the conclusion that um, a lot of artists, they talk about publishing, they talk about the royalties, they talk about how they get paid, and the money and everything. And all oh, that's cool. You need to know that. But the basic foundation of that is the copyright. So today I'm going to go over copyright. <laughs> What's the copyright? Basically a copyright grants the production under the law for original work of authorship fixed in a tangible form of expression. Copyright protection affords the composer six exclusive rights, which roughly correspond to various licenses processes and revenue streams. All right, the copyright, to break it down in the layman's terms, the copyright is the right to copy. It's a compound word consisting of copy and write. The right to copy. Now, that includes the right to reproduce the work, the right to create a derivative work, meaning an adaptive work that is directly based on the copyright or the music god, as we call it a remix or something similar to the original and the right to reproduce work, like I said in the first point, uh, I guess that, that will be a cover song as it relates to the music number three, you have the right to publicly distribute the copies of the copyright through sale or for free distribution have the right to distribute to make money to sell it or to even give it away you still have to own the copyright to even give your music away the right to publicly perform you know to do a concert you gotta own the copyright or have the right to perform that work and the right to publicly display a work I guess if you're a painter or whatnot, uh, to put your work on some type of artistic medium have displayed for people you have to own the copyright of the work in order to do that and for sound recordings the right to publicly perform the recording through digital audio transmission <laughs> this is fairly new it's called streaming basically and it says not applicable to composition so basically that's the new form of a mechanical royalty you know back some years ago uh, streaming wasn't a thing. The mechanical royalty was basically through a tangible uh, medium, such as a cassette or CD or vinyl or a track. If if you're that old, you know what an a track tape is. But um, yeah, that's the mechanical royalty that you would get when the song is performed publicly through. Uh, digital, digital age, or di digitally streamed, and that could be streamed anywhere. That could be streamed in in a jukebox, in a club, or in a, an elevator. You know, or any one of the the, the digital streaming platforms, uh, such as Spotify, Pandora, um, Tidal, Napster, or any one of those. So I hope you all have uh, a better understanding of what a copyright is. Basically, a copyright is the initial foundation of uh, your revenue source. It, it all starts with who have the rights to the song. And it grants you protection under the law if somebody tries to steal your song and you have a copyright which you would get a copyright in, copywritten with a, in the law, con, uh, library of Congress, I'm sorry. That's who copyrights your song. And it's specifically for that. If you have to take somebody to court, you can say, well, I registered my song in the library of Congress at such and such date. You performed and you stole it at this date. So, you know, whatever money you made, you, you, owe, you owe me, you owe me some change. That's, that's basically what it's about. I'm glad you all took the time now. Took the time to go over copyrights with me. Um, I'll be coming up with another term sometime soon. And uh, if 
you need any kind of marketing, digital marketing and promotion, I'll leave links in the description. I appreciate your time. Peace.